widow spider always seems to get a bad rap. Yes, it's North America's most venomous spider, with experts saying that its venom is 10 to 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. What sensationalists tend to do is make you feel this aggressive killer spider is a deadly menace and that a bite from the widow's fangs is sure to bring a painful death. Truth be told, the black widow's bite has rarely resulted in death, except in the cases of elderly people or very young children who have a lower resistance to its toxins. Watch now as a fly is released into its habitat. It needs to feel it to sense where it's at. When the female black widow senses or feels some vibrations of an insect like this fly in here, she goes stark crazy because she can't see very well, but she's certainly trying to track down the whereabouts of this fly. I'll check on the egg. Eventually, the widow's cobweb does its trick. The fly has entangled itself in the cobwebbing of the black widow. The widow has wrapped up its prey and has administered a bite to subdue the prey. Watch now as it carefully cuts a few strands. It will now re-web the prey, making it ready to travel. A few more cuts and applying some good strong webbing And then the widow drags its prey down to its egg sac for a more convenient meal later in the day. The widow spends much time around or on its egg sac, protecting it from any predators. Watch now as the widow cuts out a piece of material it doesn't want its web anymore. Many times during the day, the widow will go around repairing its web or removing things it doesn't want in its web. The widow pauses from its activities to enjoy a liquid snack. The female black widow is a very good mother. She takes good care of her little nursery of young. Many times during the day she will stay close to this egg sac. The egg sac itself is well constructed with very close webbing that is knit in such a way to protect it from the elements as well as not allowing insects to penetrate into the inside of the sack to get at her babies. If she feels threatened in any way, she'll take the egg sack and move it to somewhere else where she feels more secure. Another reason for her moving her egg sack is for humidity and temperature control. 
Watch now as she cuts the strands that hold her egg case in place because she is moving the egg case one more time. Her egg case will contain anywhere from 70 to 900 eggs based on, of course, the species of the Black Widow. The spiderlings inside will go through three molts before they emerge from the sack. When the time is right and the temperature feels good, they will take turns eating a little hole in the side of the egg sack. Then they will climb out and leave the sack as soon as they possibly can. They do this because of cannibalism. Very few spiderlings will make it to adulthood. The black widow is not an aggressive spider, but a relatively shy spider at that, and would rather run and hide from you than bite you. The fact is, all spiders bite to eat or in self-defense, and I can assure you that you are way too big to ever be considered for a meal. One other fact I'd like to make clear, not every black widow eats its mate. Matter of fact, very few do that, only if they are really hungry. The black widow also has an oily substance on the lower part of its legs to keep it from getting stuck in its own sticky webbing. I can't help but observe that this female black widow moves from the three captured insects, two flies and an ant. She goes back to each one making sure I'm assuming that they're secured well and for a little taste it looks like or a little drink. And then she busies herself with securing her egg nest, egg sack, and making sure everything is uh, going well in that area. A very busy mother spider. The black widow will hang upside down in its web so that its red hourglass would be visible to any predator that would attempt to take this spider down. In my opinion, the shiny black abdomen makes it a very beautiful spider. Watch now as she takes an egg from a fly and takes it over to her egg sack for a nice little meal. All my lighting and filming her has made her uncomfortable, so she's taking her egg sack for the fourth or fifth time today to the top of her habitat. She is one busy girl, and if she's not sitting on her egg sack, she's off doing something. Nighttime finally approaches, and you'd think this mom, in all of her busyness, would want to take some time out and go to sleep. <laughs> but not this girl. No way. She's off investigating her habitat even into the late evening hours. But even a busy mom needs to get her rest. She needs to get some sleep. So she huddles up close to her egg sack and goes to sleep. What a good mom. What a busy day. She 
she earned her rest. But wait, what's this? Huh, just like you and I make a midnight run to the refrigerator, so Mom's having herself a late night snack as well. You go, Mom. You deserve it. It's been a long day, and you've been a great mom.